and that would get this kind of process going. So what would the implications of that be? Okay. So you have a genetically encoded catalyst that can make a little bit of phospholipids. That's great. Now we have a new growth pathway. It can eat its pure fatty acid neighbors that don't have that genetically encoded catalyst. Um, that would provide a tremendously strong selective advantage because now it's growing at the expense of its neighbors. So that would, the population would get taken over by the descendants of cells that encode that catalyst. But that would lead to an evolutionary arms race. Right? So as soon as the population can all make a little bit of phospholipid, now to have an advantage you need to make more phospholipid than your neighbors so you can eat them. Right? So there's selective pressure to make more and more and more phospholipids. But we know eventually when that happens, the properties of the membrane start to change. And it doesn't take too much phos phospholipid actually to start to decrease the permeability, it makes it harder for stuff to get across. Now you have selective pressures for the evolution of new molecules that can help you get molecules across membranes. And as the permeability continues to drop, eventually it'll be profitable to make molecules yourself inside. So that's metabolism. So we think that this is a, a kind of simple progression of evolutionary events that might uh, explain how you could go from a simple, very simple system, starting off with one reaction, and as an inevitable consequence of that, there would be a whole cascade of changing evolutionary pressures that would drive the emergency, emergence of more and more complicated uh, cells and ultimately lead to more modern biology. Okay, so I've tried to mention the people that contributed to this work as I've gone along. I mentioned again Jason Shrum, Alonzo Ricardo, uh, Craig Blaine doing the TNA work, uh, Itai Buden, and Ting Zhu uh, for the uh, progress we've made on the membrane system. And thank you very much for inviting me and listening. <laughs>